Hey YouTube, it's me, Jamie. Hello. Uh, so today, I figured that I would do a quick little video on how to survive after uni, which is something that is pretty pressing, particularly for me, because I have finished, I've done. Yeah. So, uh, step one is find a place to live. Uh, I have had some issues with that. I'm currently now living with Sam, which is delightful, I guess. No, it is. I'm kidding. I, I, I enjoy living with Sam. I've still got to move some stuff over, but, you know, that's pretty important. Find yourself a place to live because you need a place to live. Either you can go home if you want, but personally, I want to stay in Canterbury where I've been for the last three years. Secondly, get yourself a job. Now, that it's harder than it seems. The job market is absolutely terrible at the moment. I got lucky. Uh, I got given a job by a friend of mine. Well, I say given a job. My friend put me forward for a job and I got the job. I work in Barry King, which I'm pretty sure I've said, but I can't remember whether I have. But, you know, always keep a lookout for other jobs, particularly in your field. Like, I did a degree in drama, so hence why I have a theatre company. Step... Three? Is it three? Three? C? Five? No, let's say it's three. Step three. It's okay to feel bad about being an adult. It's hard work. Like, you know when you're a kid and you look at adults and go, Wow, they have it. Oh, gee golly, they have it so easy. I never said gee golly as a kid, but, you know, you look at them and go, Wow, they can do what they want. They can go out and all that. Like, they're so cool. Trust me, kids, we're not. Half the time, we're making, we're basically making it up. Like, I don't know what I'm doing from one day to another. I'm just sort of moseying along, trying to get along with my life without, you know, dying. Step four, with your money that you get from step two, the job, like, budget, like, when you leave university, you don't have that safety net of student finance. So at uni, for those of you who aren't at uni or don't understand or are going to uni but still don't quite understand it, you get this thing called student finance, which is like a nice cushy little loan, which helps you get through, you know, that helps you pay your rent, it feeds you for a bit, lets you go out and get drunk and buy stupid things. Um, which I thoroughly recommend you do. Buy stupid things with student finance. You are never in your life going to have a sum of money like that, that is basically disposable. You know, yes, you have to pay it back, but not for a while. And so, with your money, budget and, I mean, still treat, in the words of Donna from Parks and Rec, treat yourself. Definitely treat yourself, that's really important. But also remember that you need to, like, eat. And, you know, if you're a smoker, smoke. If you're... I don't know, but eating, that's important, and make sure that you pay your rent and your bills, because then you can get into a grey area, and then there's also, like, council tax, and <sighs> which is horrible, uh, and step five, be prepared to spend a lot of your time hating yourself, and this is a serious part of the video, like, I have spent a lot of time over the last three months that I haven't been at uni kind of lots not knowing where I want to go with my life and being worried that I'm going to be you know stuck in a dead-end job like working at Burger King which you know if that's your career plan great that's 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 good because then the job is not dead-end for you but I don't want to be in Burger King for the rest of my life it is hard work being an adult you spend a lot of your time just trying to muddle through as best you can without breaking but from me to you the viewer on the other side of this camera it's okay to break sometimes and be feel crappy and there are people who are trained to help with that sort of thing i went and got some help i you know i went to my doctors your local gp uh there's also like hotlines like samaritans and stuff like that Oh, this took a really deep turn, didn't it, guys? But yeah, so those are my five tips for surviving after uni. I basically, this is my final, I guess, uni survival guide. Because 
I guess I'm going to call this after uni survival guide. But yeah, I'm hoping to kind of do more videos, like, as and when I can. I, I'm not going to promise you a schedule, because I don't know what my own schedule is, let alone a schedule for you guys. So, I will try and upload a video at some point. And, yeah, I'll keep you up to date on the play. And, yeah. If you, uh, I'll, if you want to chat, you want to just say, hey, or you want to, I don't know, tell me that I suck or whatever, just, uh, write me a little comment down, downstairs in the trouser section, and, um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and go like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, uh, Facebook is Emo Kid Sips, Twitter is Jamie A. Langdon, at Jamie A. Langdon, um, all the links are in the, the trouser section, in the description section. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely, fantastic, blah, 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 blah. Hope you have a good day, guys. And uh, yeah, take it easy. And have fun with the whole finishing uni stuff. Okay. Bye.